Okay, I'd like to share a couple of techniques that uh, drone operators can use to fly through arches or any tight spaces. Rather than flying right up to it and flying right through it, I prefer to just size it up gradually. The problem is actually trying to figure out just how wide the arch is and how tall it is. So in order to figure that out, it works pretty well to just fly right up next to it and kind of get an idea as to what you're dealing with. As I get closer, I like to try and position the drone so that the crosshairs are right smack in the center of the arch, both up and down and side to side. And then I like to move the drone forward until I'm just a few feet away from the opening of the arch, being really careful to avoid the walls on either side, and also careful not to actually enter the arch. And then I back the drone up using the right stick, just pulling it back, being careful not to touch any of the other sticks, and uh, to bring it back to my starting point. And then I'll continue back, pause the drone, and put it C mode for the trip forward. As I move forward, I just use partial throttle on the right stick, trying to keep my speed around 7 to 10 miles per hour, and just slowly approach the uh, arch. It's important not to use any left stick at all. We don't want to use any yaw or any up and down. We just want to retrace our trip back to the arch. Same applies for the right stick. We just want to control our speed forward and no roll right or left. And we control our speed up to and through the arch very carefully with the right stick. You can use a little bit of roll as needed left or right just to avoid those walls as you go through the arch, but uh, you just got to be really careful. And then I'll use the left stick and push it forward so I can climb up above the arch and not lose the connection to the drone. Here's another example going through the same arch. On this pass I didn't go back quite as much. Went a little slower I think uh, coming up through it. Being very very careful as I go through the uh, walls not to steer right or left, especially yaw. If you get to steer right or left, use the roll. That's very important. And now we're through. Looks good. One cool thing you can do when you get back on your computer, you can reverse the clip with the edit tool. And it can give a pretty cool effect as you travel backwards right through the arch. Okay, here's another arch. I've never flown through this one. Spotted it a few months ago when I was hiking out here and I didn't have my drone with me. So we'll approach it like we did the other one and kind of see what we got. Flying in end mode until I get really close. This is obviously below my level right now. All right, now we'll put it in C mode. Get up next to it. Just approach it real slow. Make sure there's nothing sticking up that I'm gonna hit. Seems to be a little smaller than I thought. Now I'm gonna level out my gimbal. That looks pretty good. A little bit lower. Okay, now we'll back her up. Good enough. Now we'll go forward very slowly.
and we're through it. Go up. So I went ahead and hiked up here to see how big this opening really is. And uh, I've got my hiking stick up there. The height is uh, maybe about two and a half feet at the most. Over here, it's more like two feet and the width is around seven feet. Kind of gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here.